Hi, my name is Helmut and I'm excited to see that GSI made an app for Android phones and devices for the VB3. I'm an owner of a Samsung Galaxy Note 10, so um, a powerful smartphone, and I downloaded the app right away. I plugged my DMC 122 in and it worked beautifully. I felt no latency and it sounds good. But I only could hear it over my phone speakers. As my Samsung has only a one USB-C connection, I bought one of these splitters. It had one headphone jack and one USB-C plug. So I thought that would work. But oh no, my phone did not recognize this device. First lesson learned. Samsung doesn't like everyone. Okay, I ordered a second solution. Now a device that looks more like a splitter or a hub. One USB-C in and two USB-C out. This time Note 10 approved in the description. Um, but one is labeled as a phone and another USB-C was labeled as a power input. I got the picture. Listen music with charging your phone at the same time, that was the goal. But the power USB-C doesn't work for my MIDI connection to the DMC. So I am at the beginning again. Writing in some Facebook forum I learned through people and also through Max Tempier, an extensive GSI user, uh, that they use an extra sound card on a USB hub to make all this possible. But I wanted a simple solution, not another card and more cables. I thought, okay, I bought the app once, but I can use it on different devices. So I tried to go a different phone, one with a micro USB, that I normally use uh, just for the remote of any of my mixers. A Samsung J6. It's a cheaper phone, uh, but also had the latest Android version on it. It worked. <laughs> but has a significant latency and makes no fun to play with it at all. Okay, I ordered now a cheap USB audio interface with plug and play option. That seems to be crucial when it comes to use the some audio interfaces with your Android device. ASIO and others seemed not to work. And then I thought, okay, I still have an old tablet, cheap Arcos. I think it was about 160 euros or 150 dollars. It is at least four years old and has an older version of Android on it. It also lacks some speed if it comes to running apps. I'm using it only as a score device. I'm also not satisfied with the display solution. On a bad angle, you see absolutely nothing. But I could install the VB3M and it works. I feel no latency. The sound is okay, even if I have no direct comparison to it right now. But I will make another video to compare the PC software and the Android version. I hope you liked what you heard and what you learned 
uh, if it's useful for you, please subscribe my channel. Um, next on the line, I will have a comparison between the GSI VB3M and the GSI VB3 II on a computer. And also next, I will uh, see and I will look into the problem of the connection with a pace battle for the Hammond and also for the MIDI connection to the DMC 122. Thank you. Bye.